You know what this ummah is suffering from, my brothers? Trust me, it's not knowledge. The alam is ocean, books, books, apps. Wallahi, jump on YouTube, hours and hours and hours of talks and bayans and khutbas and classes and knowledge is there, it's abundant. What is this ummah suffering from more than anything? The biggest disease, the biggest sickness of the Muslims, the, the biggest calamity in the ummah, do you know what it really is? There's no men. And you know who suffers the most when there's no men? You know who suffers the most? Women and children. When there's no rijal, who suffers? You know, in English they say, in English they say, when the cat's away, guess who come to play? Who? Say it, say it out loud so others hear it. Uh, when the cat's away, there's no cat. When there's no rijal, when there's no man, when the cat's away, who comes to play? Ah, uh, the rats and the mice. No men, rats and mice. Look at our societies. When there's no rijal, wallah, when there's no men. You know, an imam once, an imam, true story, I heard this with my own ears. An imam once who was narrating his story, please, wallahi, I will wrap it up. But just stay with me. These are the last very important moments. Imam said once he was preparing for Friday khutbah. He said, so I'm sitting in my office and I'm trying to prepare my khutbah. He said that my son, he was four or five years old. You know, ma'awafni khle, he's driving me crazy, man. Every time I put pen to paper, he jumps on me and he wants to play. He's a little boy. So the sheikh is thinking, he's thinking, you know, look, your Allah, this kid's driving me crazy. Uh, remember, but to be a man is to be a father also. Uh, so, so for us, we would do our, give him an iPad, get him off your back. Yeah, this is the father now. This is the 21st century father. Yeah. Give him an iPad, get him off your back. So the Sheikh is saying, man, look, I need this kid off my back. I need to prepare my khutbah. How do I engage the kid? Give him something constructive. So the Sheikh was saying, the Imam says, he says, I had a magazine. I'm freaking through the magazine and I found the picture of the, of the world, a globe. It was a picture of the globe. So the Sheikh said, look, let me rip this page out and I'll cut it into a little puzzle. Yeah, I'll cut the countries into pieces and I'll give it to the boy and I'll tell him to put it together. He's thinking this will, give, yeah, this will keep him busy at least for an hour. Get him off my back. He said, I cut the picture. I gave it to my son. I said to my son, listen, put the world, put the world together. So the imam said, the boy took it. I'm thinking, huh, finally now I can gather my thoughts and put the khutbah together. He said within a few minutes, a few minutes, the boy was back and the world was put together. So the sheikh's thinking, I'm an honor. Is my son a genius? Yeah, he was. This is, he's a little boy. So the sheikh says, he says, my son, Allahu Akbar, tabarakallah. How did you know where Europe is and the Americas and the Africas? And yeah, yeah, I'm, the kid doesn't go to school. How did you know? He said to him, well, Allah, father, Anna, I don't know. He said, so how did you put the world together? He said, dad, on the other side of the picture, there's a picture of a man. So I put the arms together and the legs together and the head together. So the Imam said what? He said, Subhanallah, you gave me my topic. When man comes together, the world comes together. But Qasim by Allah, as long as man is destroyed, this world will always be destroyed. Rijal, who suffers the most when the cat's away? The mice will play.